this is uh, St Peter's Church, Islington. It's on the corner of St Peter's Street and Devonia Road. St Peter's Street runs from Essex Road right down to um, um, City Road. And this is where Mum and Dad got married in, well, it was on Christmas Day, 1931. So that was Walter James Simpson, my dad and my mum, who was Ethel Elizabeth Barker. That's where they got married. This is where my dad used to swim as a boy. This is a Regent's Canal. It's part by Vincent Terrace in Islington. And um, he used to swim in this. So he thought it was quite funny that he'd be swimming and, and then there'd be a rat swimming beside him. Yeah, and now we've got squirrels everywhere. So maybe they're <laughs> distant, distant relatives of the rats. They used to jump off the bridges and everything. And they used to get chased by the police. The police didn't like it. So some sort of health and safety was, was around in those days. <laughs> it looks beautiful now with all the people and everything and the, and the houseboats. And, fantastic. But in those days it was uh, less salubrious, more of an industrial area I guess, with lots of people living in the same house, working in various factories and whatever nearby. So he was born in 03 and he lived around the corner in Elia Street on the corner of um, Sudley. So as a kid he might have been seven or eight or nine, nine years old, so that one made it about 1912, something like that different age. Yeah. Well, I used to come round and see my granddad who lived in this house and my grandma of course, uh, which is number 23 Elia Street. I used to come up here on a Sunday morning with my dad. I remember wiping my feet here when I was a kid just because it's there to wipe your feet, really. Yeah, they lived there for quite a long time, actually, way back in the day, in the early teens of the, of the 20th century, and um, right up to about 1963, when my granddad died. They were li he was living there with his parents, his mum and dad, and, and his siblings, his two brothers and a sister from uh, way back. They moved from Goswell Terrace, which is about a mile back into town to here some period and they spent a lot of time here and um, well, this is where they grew up. Um, they said with my, my, my dad and his elder brother William and his younger brother George, Uncle George and Aunt Mary, the youngest. My dad was a, an aspiring artist as a youngster and um, he really wanted to go to art school but that wasn't allowed for some reason and so he joined the RAF where he spent eight years and uh, after coming out he shortly met my mum after that, up in Upper Street they were all they bumped into each other in Upper Street as you do I suppose or as you did <laughs> and uh, that was it This beautiful house is number 59 Cloudsley Road, Islington. And according to the 1911 census, my mother lived here. She was a baby, five days old. She lived here with her, her parents, her father, Harry, and her mother, Ethel, and her elder brother, who was a year old, my Uncle Harry. And um, well, he had, my, my, my granddad, uh, uh, my mum's dad, of course, he had, a, he had a market store in Chapel Market, which is just 400 metres behind, and they sold lino. Now that was the latest rage back in, the, in before the First World War. It was a modern flooring. And, um, well, they lived here prior to moving to 34 Barnsby Road. So they didn't have the house to themselves. They had to share with other people, to other families, according to this. So um, it looks idyllic, but I don't think it was at the time. <laughs> the four of them lived here, that's, that's um, the Barkers, like Harry, Harry and Ethel, with their two children, Harry and Baby, which became my mum, Ethel, 
Barker, and that was in 1911, according to the census. They, they, they moved a little while later, because they lived around in 34 Barnsby Road, just behind. And um, by then he'd um, entered the war, and he disappeared in the war, in the mud, and he, one of the, those statistics, he never came home, and that's, so the family took a different direction. Because prior to that, he had a stall in Chapel Market, selling lino, and um, they also had a shop in St John Street, the family, the Parkers, and um, that all disappeared when, when, the, when the dad died in the war. We're in Barnsby Road, and this is where my mum lived from a very early age. And she lived here with her, her widowed mum, because her husband, that's my mum's my dad, he was killed in World War One. Well, they lived here, five of them, my grandma, my mum, my mum's two brothers, that's Harry and Fred, and her younger sister, Elizabeth, known as Betty. And my mum told me that as a young girl, she used to sit on these steps, and every soldier walking by, she used to look at it, hoping it would be her father. Uh, it was never to be. He, was, he disappeared in the war and was never found. Um, but anyway, yeah, she lived here up to a teenager as well because uh, she said she used to walk from here straight the way down through Penton Street and then down Amwell Street and then down uh, onto Kirby Street near, near Hatton Garden where she worked as a leather worker. Shortly afterwards, the, the whole family moved to um, uh, Kinlock Street which is off, off of um, Hornsey, Hornsey Road in Holloway. And that, that's another chapter then. But this is where they lived from uh, a very early age in, in this townhouse. Mm -hmm.